All right, and this is where I'm getting my sheets of fiberglass from. I have a 1976 Trojan cabin cruiser. It's in need of restore. But instead of restoring the past two years, I've been robbing fiberglass from it. This is uh, over a quarter inch thick. This is one of the sides. And I'm just grinding off all the defects from the factory and all the bumps and all the old stains and they had some brackets attached. Basically what I do, I pick up used boats that are in bad shape. I look for boats that have nice straight sides and I use that for fiberglass donors. Um, instead of using wood, I use all fiberglass for my boat projects. It's a job, there's a job nobody really wants to grind fiberglass. I just use a put an 80 grit sander pad. It does make a lot of dust, so use the appropriate gear, save the glass and respirator. Gloves are optional. I don't recommend gloves. Even the gel coat and paint has to go. New fiberglass doesn't stick well to gel coat. Have to get down to bare glass. Transfer the bolt pattern, 5 8 shaft, shift rod goes through here. Five original bolts, secure the lower unit. That gives you a better idea what I'm doing. It's going to have a tunnel, it's going to come down to here, follow along the front, and on the sides, it's going to come down at a little angle. We're just going to allow me to access those bolts. Once it's all glass to the boat, this cavity is going to be filled with like some, uh, some foam, just something to keep water from staying piled up. Easy build so far. A minor oversight. How am I going to access the fill plug? Hmm. Back to the drawing board. Now to solve the issue of changing the lower unit gear oil while it's installed on the boat. Once I install this on the tunnel, I'm not going to have a very good access to get to this screw because the bobbin of the boat will be even with this fin. So you won't better stick a screwdriver in here. So my solution is stainless steel tube and a fitting. I'm going to drill a hole through the center of the bolt and have this TIG welded about like that. To where when I, when I build my filler plate to cover the tunnel, I'm going to leave access to undo this plug to vent the lower unit to change the oil. My only other option was to try to run the tube up through the top back here and inside the hull. It would be easier to do it with one man all from the bottom just like a traditional outboard versus if I run it from the top someone has to be hop in and out the boat. So 
about ten dollars of stainless steel parts. Should solve my problem. All right, this is my temporary jig to hold on the fiberglass panels to form the tunnel so I can tack it in place. From below this fin on down, it's going to be hanging out the boat, and this is going to be inside the tunnel, recessed inside the hull. Again, this is just temporary. All this structure to hold everything in place so that I can tack it in with fiberglass. glass and once that dries I can build the other panels tack it in release it should be ready to glass solid